hi everyone in this video we will see the difference between union and join in sql so let's see practically union in sql is used to combine the result set of two or more select statements here we have a table called employee now i'm going to fetch the data from employee table and you can see 107 rows are there but there are many columns we have other table also called employee data one I'm going to pin the result first here if you will see from second table they are coming four rows but columns are less as compared to first table now I am going to use union in between two select statements you can see here I am getting the error query block has incorrect number of result columns why this error is coming it means the number of columns you are using in select statements are not matching it means if you will see select star from employee the number of columns are more and the second select statement which is select star from employee data one the number of columns are less number of columns should match then only this union will work now i am using only the particular columns and the same number of columns i will give in both the select statements I have given same columns in both the select statements. Union just increase the rows but the number of columns will remain the same. Union just combines the data from two or more select statements. We have two types of union, union and union all. If we are using union, it means it will give only unique records. For example, here we will see if we are having one record in employee table and the same record is present in employee data one then only one record will be there you can see 107 rows are present if i will be using union all here then both the rows from both the select statement will come it will not discard the duplicate records now i will check the count and you can see count is 111 now i will sort in ascending order and you can see the employee id 100 101 102 and 103 are coming duplicates so union all gives all the records including duplicates and union discards the duplicate records now we will use join to get the data from both these two tables the syntax of using a join is select star from table 1 join table 2 on the column name from table 1 is equal to the column name from table b it means in both the tables one column should be there that should match here employee id in first table and employee id in second table are matching so here we will mention on a dot employee id is equal to b dot employee id here we are using inner join so only matching records will come from both the tables you can see there are only four records in which employee ids are matching 100 101 102 103 these four records are present in both the tables so we can use left join right join full auto join inner join so based on the join only the rows will come but the number of columns if you will see first the first table number of columns will come and after that the number of columns from second table will come because we are using star only so all the columns from all the tables will come instead of star if you want to give only particular specific column names you can also give instead of star over here and in join it does not matter that the number of columns from both the tables should be the same so now the conclusion and difference between join and union is they both merge the data but the difference is join combines the data from many tables based on a related column while union is used to combine the result of two or more select statements into a single result set second difference is join combines the data into new columns and union combines the data into new rows and the third difference is in join the number of columns selected from each table may not be the same and in union the number of columns selected from each select statements or table should be the same if you really like this video then please do like share and subscribe thank you thank you for watching